dear students today we will study the tenses now english language divides time of an action that is time of an verb into three broader parts that is past present and future we can decide when the action was taking place and accordingly assign it a tense the tenses are further divided into four parts the simple progress past present or progressive the progressive the perfect and the perfect continuous so in effect we have 12 divisions of time according to which we can place the action and assign a tense to it let's start with the past tense first study the form of the ten, uh, the sub, uh, sentence this will also help you in your reordering assignment first of all the subject that is the noun or pronoun of the sentence comes and then the verb the sec in the past uh, simple form the second form of the verb is used that is eat in case we take the form eat the verb eat its second form will be ate and third will be eaten that is how we study this eat ate eaten this is the first form the second form and the third form then the object comes that is pizza i ate pizza yesterday yesterday is your time clue from where you get to know that the action happened in the past so you have to use the simple past tense simple past tense is used for completed actions or past habits which are not we are not bothered at this point of time whether they are being carried on or not so this is the form the subject the second form of the verb ate and the object i ate pizza yesterday now if we come to present simple it the form will change it will be subject plus the first form of the verb eat the basic form the root form eat and the object this present tense this simple tense is used for habits and general truths like the sun rises in the east the i eat uh, i eat pizza every day or i eat tea, i drink tea every day then there is a mental action i love english language so all the mental actions that you don't actually do but feel in your head are first uh, the present simple tense similarly the future tense will be the present uh, the simple future tense will be pure future when you are willing to do an action in the future i will eat pizza tomorrow so it will be subject plus will plus verb the basic form and the object this form this standard formulas you have to remember so that you are able to form the correct sentence and it will also help you in the reordering assignment then we come to the progressive continuous tense progressive continuous tense in the past is used to express persistent habits which are not do, which you are not carrying on now i used to i uh, she was eating her nails all day but now she has stopped so it is past the form is subject plus was or were plus verb form with ing in the progressive we use the verb form eat plus ing that will be eating so i was eating pizza when you called this shows this is also used for uncompleted actions in the past when some action happened the earlier action was going on i was eating pizza when you called so this action happened later but yet the earlier action was not complete in the progressive simple present tense we use the form am is or are the helping verbs change they become the present helping verbs plus the verb form ing that is eating plus object i am eating pizza now so this is for uh, clearly this is used for the an action that is going on at the present time or a temporary action which is going on in a wider frame of time but not exactly at present like i am reading a novel these days so you're not reading now a novel every all the time of the day but these days say a week you are reading a novel and habitual actions i am 
walking every day these days so it is an action that you are doing as an habit in the future continuous tense the form the auxiliary form changes that is will be i will be eating pizza when you come this is used when we are going to do some action at some point in future when you come i will be eating pizza so when the person comes the first person will be eating pizza he will be doing that action he is planning it and this is also used for planned future events say the i will be going to usa next week now we come to the third form the perfect form the perfect past is used for completed actions in the past that took place before another action say i had eaten all the pizza when you called so when this action happened when he called he had eaten all the pizza already so that action had been completed the form is subject plus had plus the third form of the verb that is eaten plus object i had eaten all the pizza when you called when we come to perfect uh, present the past action is not defined by time it started in the past but we are not worried what what time it started or it is continuing up till now the form is again subject plus have instead of had and the third form of the verb eaten i have eaten all the pizza when he started in the past it doesn't matter but till up till now he has completed the action in the future uh, perfect tense it is used for an action that will be completed before another action in the future i will have eaten all the pizza by the time you arrive so before the time he arrives this action would be completed the form is again subject plus will have plus the third form eaten plus object the last tense is the perfect continuous tense it is used to indicate an action that began in certain point in the uh, past and is still continued say i had eat i had been eating pizza when you called so it is important that when he called the action had been going on for 2 hours when the period is important we use this tense subject plus had been is the form plus verb the ing form eating plus object this is the perfect continuous past tense the perfect continuous present tense is used when we have to express an action that started at some point and may or may not be finished we are not bothered about the time when we are when the time is of significance then we use the past perfect continuous when the time is not of significance we use the present perfect continuous like i have been eating pizza for 2 hours when it started it doesn't matter for 2 hours he had been eating pizza it may or may not be finished that is not the point here and then the future perfect progressive it will have happened but not completed at a certain point it started in some past he would have completed it but not when the person when the second action happens say i will have been eating pizza for 2 hours when you come so it has been started but not finished when the next action happens the form is s plus will have been plus the ing form that is eating plus object these are your tenses in a gist